Hi everyone, welcome back to The Makeup Loft. My name is Ken, also known as Mr. Ken Dennis. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a last minute Halloween makeup tutorial. So this is the look. You're going to be using products that you guys already have in your collection. Um, so if you guys are interested to see how I created this look, definitely keep on watching. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, also that notification bell, so you guys don't miss out on our latest videos. Um, and also don't forget to hit the like button if you guys like this video, and also share this video with your friends and family. I, for one, don't really commit to go to Halloween parties but I always end up going anyway so I never really have a costume ready so I kind of just wear all black and then just rely on my makeup so without further ado let's get into the video all right we're gonna start off first with foundation I'm actually going to be using a concealer this one is the super staple coverage under eye concealer in number 10 affair obviously way too light for me I love using just like a light concealer just to kind of like give me like a really paler complexion um, and this is going to obviously help with sort of like that ghostly appearance kind of look it might take a while because it's a very small applicator <laughs> then just grabbing a beauty sponge I'm just going to bounce that all over the skin whether or not you want to put some on your neck as well is just completely up to you depends on your costume as well um, but if you really want to go for like that really like death look I'd suggest bringing it down a little bit or just you know just to blend it down so there's no like really harsh lines I mean we're still going to try and make this look pretty even though we're going quite ghoulish dead now I just want to set everything in place so I'm just going to be grabbing this powder this one is the master fix setting and perfecting loose powder all right, I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm just going to be grabbing one of these. This is the color tattoo in On and On Bronze. I'm just going to pop it all over the lid first and then kind of blend out the edges. I'm trying to wing it out as well, like smoke it out, I should say. Next, I'm going to be grabbing this palette. This one is the Total Temptation Shadow and Highlight Palette. I'm just going to be grabbing the black shade there. I'm just going to pop it onto the lid. Also going to run that black on the lower lash line. All right, next we're going to grab the matte bar palette and I'm just going to be grabbing a couple of shades in here just to do a little bit of light contouring. Then I'm going to be grabbing my City Bronzer in Deep Cool. I'm going to really work on my contouring, but instead of using a big fluffy brush to give me that nice diffuse all over bronze look, I'm going to be grabbing a small eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to really work it sort of like in the temple area first. Now if you guys are looking for a really gaunt look, um, just feel on your forehead for that dip. So it's usually just bone, 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 and then you can feel sort of like a bit of a dip that's where you kind of want to emphasize that line um, and I'm going to go ahead and grab a cooler tone color now I'm going to be using the same brush I'm dipping back into the matte bar palette and I'm just going to really emphasize that temple area and just to make everything blend better I'm just going to grab a big powder brush I'm just going to run it through no product just like with eyeshadows just using a clean brush is just going to help make everything blend a lot smoother all right you guys can see I've got a little bit of contouring on this side already so I'm just going to repeat that on the other side so I just basically use the matte bar palette for this one and I just grabbed a combination of these two shades so I'm basically just going to follow my cheekbone um, and then I'm going to use um, the outer corner of my eye as a guide as to when I start to sort of like dip down and I'm going to start to blend this upwards Next, I'm going to give myself a skull nose. I'm just going to be using this eyeliner. This one is the Master Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm going to use the liquid eyeliner to really define my cheekbones. So pretty much just drawing a line. And depending how meticulous you are and how much detail you really want, you can just add a few more colors just to really make that cheekbone pop. Uh, I'm going to be grabbing that sort of like brick red shade. The more I look at my eyes, I feel like I need a bit of a wing. I just, I just feel like I need a wing. For my waterline, I'm going to be grabbing one of the tattoo liners, and this one is in the shade um, Bold Brown. Right, I'm just going to pop on some falsies, apply some mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, the look is almost done. I'm so excited. So I'm just going to block out my lips. So again, I'm grabbing the concealer, setting that with powder. Next, I'm going to grab the eyeliner. I'm going to do a little bit of detailing. 
then going back into the Total Temptation palette, I'm going to be grabbing that black shade again, and we're going to do a little bit like an ombre look on the inner part of the lip. Then I'm going to grab the sponge and I'm just going to run that on top again with the remaining foundation. And this is like my favorite technique to just kind of like soften things. Obviously it's turned down the eyeliner, but I'm just going to go on top of it again just to re-emphasize it. I like doing this technique because I feel like it gives my eyeliner more dimension because there's different layers obviously. All right, everyone, and this is the final look. Hopefully, guys enjoyed. Um, again, this is my last minute Halloween makeup look. Um, usually, I go for cute type looks, but I thought I would go for something a little bit scary this time. So, like skull banshee kind of look. I mean, it's a combination of both. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, guys enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up the video again if you guys enjoyed the video. Share this with your friends and family. And again, if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button, honestly, hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any of our new videos and also that notification bell okay until next time guys i'll catch you guys in the next video bye